morning. I know this isn't the case for everyone, but I absolutely love Christmas for so many reasons. And if you don't, or if it's a painful time for you, my heart goes out to you. My sincere hugs and just wrap yourself around with lots of comfort and lots of specialness and do what you need to do during this season. But the reason I love Christmas so much is I find it's a time to reflect and look at the past year and look into the next year. So um, going into last Christmas and thinking about a new decade, I think it was quite a different experience to reflecting on this last year. 2020 has definitely been different for a lot of us. But I think a lot of us will also be pleasantly surprised and I know every single client and clinic can safely say that where they started 2020 with their health and where they're ending it is totally different. You can be so proud of yourselves. I'm so proud of you. I'm so excited. I wake up each day filled with joy because I get to help you. I get to empower, educate, and teach you to have the best health possible, to help your families, to help your workplaces, to help your communities. These tools we get to spread. And I love the stories where it's like, well, I told so-and-so and then they did this overseas and they've learned how to drink their water or what foods are causing them inflammation. So take a moment this Christmas season and be filled with gratitude. So often, myself included, we're so hard on ourselves. We're hard on ourselves, we're hard on our bodies, we're hard on where we want to be. And while I absolutely love goals and big dreams, I also like to take time to reflect. Reflect on your body, how amazing it is, how it's got you here, how if it's not where you want it to be yet, it's just teaching you and training and tweaking so that you can have the best health possible. If you've still got symptoms, hallelujah. That's so exciting because your body still wants to heal. It wants you to live a better life. It wants you to have more energy. It wants you to have better hormones. It wants you to have better brain health. So that is so exciting. If that weight's not shifting, which I know is a cause of frustration for so many people, well, that's awesome because your body's teaching you something. Your journey to wellness isn't done yet. It is not over. So take this time to look after yourself, to reflect, to be grateful. I am so grateful for 2020. Yes, it was filled with so many challenges. Yes, my heart broke for everyone with their health during COVID when we were in lockdown and I saw all sorts of different things and stresses on family and stresses on communities. But where I started 2020 as a clinic, where we started it as a team, we didn't even have the detox center. Look at us now. It is helping so many people. It has brought so much joy. It's been a gift. It's been a game changer to so many people's health. And I am so grateful for that. I am so grateful for just recently speaking at the um, year 13 Queen Margaret Leavers Dinner. That was a dream for me. I've always wanted to give back to the school that gave me so much. And for me, going to Queen Margaret was life-changing. I was at a school that told me that I wouldn't amount to anything, that I was a troublemaker and that I was really naughty. But my parents saw something in me and they wanted to give me a new future and a new way of being and surround me with people that believed in me. And that was my experience there. It's not everyone's experience, I know that. I didn't stay there for all my years, but it was a life-changing moment. So a dream and that I just put out there when I first started this business was if I can change teenagers, if I can change them at those years when just as they leave for university, if I can give them hope, if we can give them tools to help them look after their health, what a difference it would be, what a difference my life would have been. So it was with pure joy when the Old Girls Association reached out to me and asked me to talk. How could I say no? Um, so I just wanna plant that seed that when we have dreams, and you know how much I love and believe in dreams, we put them out there. We don't know how it's gonna come into fruition. I didn't actively do anything to be asked to speak at Queen Margaret. It fell in my lap, literally. That is the amazing thing about dreams. But also at this time, I need parents that believed in me. I need parents to give me support and help. I still need support and help in different areas of my life. Where do you need support and help? What is gonna change your health? Every client that gets better health when they leave this clinic 
And remember, you're not here for the rest of your life. You're in, you get better, you're out again. In and out, we're there to achieve your health goals, says, I wish that I knew this earlier. I wish that I'd done this. I wish that I'd invested in myself and got these health transformations because they are life-changing. You have the power to change your life, to change your family's life. So right now, enjoy Christmas. Maybe approach it differently this year. Maybe approach it slower. Maybe approach it more mindfully. Maybe approach it with your family differently. Whatever you need to do. But look after yourself. Stay safe. Enjoy the season. Appreciate yourself. Give yourself so many hugs and kisses because we all deserve it after the year that 2020 has been. I look forward to seeing you guys in the new year. I can't wait. What is 2021 going to bring? Do I have any, do we as a clinic have any more surprises for you? If you know anything about us, there's probably a few in store for you. So enjoy this break. We're certainly going to enjoy it. We need the downtime to relax. So enjoy and see some sunshine, get some vitamin sun, some rest, some sleep. And I look forward to seeing you again in 2021. 